green. No, I said horrible coloring. That's what? Yeah, it looks kind of like sea green. Okay. Um, okay. Are we here? Ah, such a great surprise. Miss Ariel. Okay, it looks so bright, guys. Are we, are, we, are we really bright? Don't wow. lean into the ring light. I'm not. We're, we're, we're back in our old filming space. Yeah. Hi, gals. Look here. Okay. Um, I can't. I wish I could look here. I can't see it. Why can't you see it? I can't because it's not here yet. But you're not on the channel. Oh, yes, I was. Oh, there we are. are. All right. So, anyway, we came to show you how we just do a deep conditioner. We were just bored. We're like, we're doing it, so we might as well just show you guys. How yeah, we did I don't it. know how this nothing is Nothing special, go. nothing extra. Um, our hair actually has been styled because we just finished up the video and we just felt like our hair was dry, so we just thought we'd do a deep conditioner. Yeah. Now, some people apply it after they wash their hair. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. This is the night that we don't. So we're just popping in our favorite deep conditioners at the moment. Yep, so I'm putting in the Manuka Honey, sorry, the Shea Moisture, uh, Manuka Honey and Refer Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And I'm I pop that in. My new favorite, as I always say, the Sotanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic. Let's see. All right, anyway. The Sotanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic. Okay, we can hear ourselves. We can hear ourselves now. <laughs> oh, and matching on. clippies. Get something bigger <laughs> so I can see the chat. I'm like going blind right. on your okay. phone. I can't see. So that's all we're doing. Nothing too complicated. We just figured we'd hang out with you guys. If you guys have any questions, if we can do two things at once, I don't know. What do they always say? Chew gum and do what else? Talk and chew gum or talk and chew gum. Pat your know. head and rub your stomach at the same time. Yeah, no, can't do that. All right, so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Who else right. is deep conditioning? Anybody? And is anybody else deep conditioned like this? Like sometimes we'll wash our hair in deep condition, but like tonight, like ain't nobody got time for that. And um, after doing this wash and go today, I'm like, I haven't deep conditioned my hair in forever. I'm like, my hair is just dry. So I just want to slap one in right now. Okay, so now if I wasn't deep conditioning, this is how I would pineapple. This is about the time of night I would do that. I would split it down the middle. These are the telephone cords I always talk about. This is how I would do that if I was not deep conditioning. Um, I love when you pineapples. I go into her room. She's sitting on the edge of the bed with like two puffs. There's one there. <laughs> and on the other side. This would be the other one on the other side. Hey guys, coming Ta in. <laughs> oh snap, where'd I get this shirt? <gasps> Curl District. Curl district. Right, okay. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how I do that. But I'm not pineappling. Oh my gosh, you're nice. so cute. <laughs> so, um, we'll just start moisturizing our hair and applying the deep conditioner yeah. while y'all keep us company. So, anything going there on? There we go. Exciting. Let's see. What's going on exciting in the world? Let's see. While you natural hair. hair. Oh my gosh, yes, my hair is like soaking up all this water. My hair is so dry. Okay. So dry. I know we've come back. It was exceptionally dry today, and we both yeah. had that. Like, I was so. like, "What's going on?" Like and like, I washed my hair today, and I left a conditioner in, like, and then I rinsed it out before, like, we started filming. And like, when I rinsed it out, my hair was just immediately just dry, and I was just like, "I don't know why it's so dry. I don't understand." But even though we have um, product in our hair already, and like we said, this is just sometimes how we do it. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily say. That you guys have to do it this way. We don't know if it's right or wrong. They always say you're freshly washed hair, wash your hair, whatever. Cheryl but Singleton, this live started like five minutes ago, if that. Like, I have so much faith in my Sotanicals pick because it just has incredible slip. I told you, their conditioners are everything. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it just really is. It just goes right through. Right, are you guys filming a styling video after? No, we just filmed we a just styling filmed video. Yeah, we, we just, just filmed, filmed one. one. And so, and then we felt like, let's get our hair ready for the week, so let's just deep condition. And yeah. so I was like, why don't we go live, since that's always like a question about deep conditioners. Yeah. And so we deep condition this way. We also, you know, we'll wash our hair in the shower and um, deep condition at that mm -hmm. point. But tonight I was just like bugging. I was like, we need to deep condition like right now, <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know. You got, you, we're not going to like, take I no need to. We just came back from Target. That was like a four hour jaunt. Like we left here around five ish and we went to Target. I know, you all know how that'd be. Like <laughs> of course we have to always, always visit the product aisle. Always, always, always. Nothing new. As usual. Even though we kinda like really delved into that um is it alkali? 
Okay. What is that big yellow bottle of um, believe, in. believe in? That looked interesting. Yeah, we're gonna leave it in overnight. And then I'm gonna rinse okay. it out tomorrow. My hair's gonna feel like the water. specific instruction for mine says 20 minutes and then it says or longer. So I'll say or longer. Someone said, hey, do you feel a difference uh, between deep conditioning after freshly washed hair or the state your hair is in now? I, I think know. it's effective either way. Yeah, I do too. It works either way. Especially since we are kind of like wetting our hair. So, yeah, that's why we continue to kind of do it this way because it doesn't really affect us the way we do this. Especially, well, but you, we can't even like really say this because I don't want to poison anybody's thought process because you had um, a bad experience during our power outage but we did it during that time because we didn't really have water we just had spray bottles so we did that but yours was protein so that's a whole nother issue but during that time I deep conditioned my hair with the Afrotastic in a spray bottle yeah. and my hair had been styled before the power outage so I put it right in after about two or three days yeah. of product being in my so hair. So someone said um, what will we do tomorrow? So tomorrow like when I go to rinse it out I'll probably co-wash my hair just because it's like moisturizing as well but I need like a deep conditioner to sit on my curls for mm -hmm. like sit on my curls for a while so some people might think that doesn't make sense you're putting it in just to rinse it out yeah or wash it out or whatever I'm not washing with anything harsh I'm going in with my moisturizing right. co-wash yeah I wouldn't shampoo it out no um. what's the longest time you've left a deep conditioner in your hair overnight um, oh, over two nights two nights <laughs> three nights four nights yeah um, which we don't recommend Nope. because they say if a if a deep conditioner doesn't work in 20 minutes to a half hour max, um, it's not a good deep conditioner. Now, I tend to mm, always have to debate something, guys. You know that. So I tend to like question that, but you know, it's their products. It's they're the experts. We're not. But I just go by my. I can only have my own testimony. My own testimony has been such that I've left it in for a night, two nights, whatever, and I take it out, and it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just another, um, someone said, well, they might do it, their hair like this now or deep condition like this now. It's just like another way to do it. I did not feel like getting in the shower. When and you're tired, it's and, like an option, yeah. okay? No one's saying that you do this all the time. This is the only way you can do it. We're just saying tonight we were tired. We knew that we had a full week of filming ahead. Our hair needed to be deep conditioned. And sometimes we want to speed up the process in the morning if we choose a, another brand to do. Mm -hmm. We want to just use their products and just move on. We don't want to have to pause and do this deep conditioning stuff. So we'll do it tonight. Yeah. So I keep saying top three deep conditioners. Do you have a top three? Uh, yes, I do. I have Afrotastic right here for when it, for moisturizing conditioners. The Sultanicals. The Sultanicals, Afrotastic. Uh, before this one, it used to be Curl Junkie, Curl Rehab. I liked the, uh, what was it? The, what was that flavor? There's two. There's one that's strawberry everybody swears by, but when I went in, I did the Gardenia and um, another What, what line are you talking about? The Curl Junkie. Oh. You know, I had the two little containers. Um, yeah. Yeah, so Curl Junkie was my absolute favorite. It was called Curl Rehab for moisture. And what else have we did, been doing? Um, oh, and you know my latest one? The Weedad one, that Weedad Curl Immersion. Oh, the Curl Immersion. I love yeah. that one. Yes. Um, let me think. Okay, oh so. Oh my gosh, I should have thought about that tonight. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I love the, obviously, the Shea Moisture, the Manuka Honey Mafur Oil. That one I love. Um... I'm always drawing blanks when I'm put on the spot. Um, what else do I like? You have, you said, the deep conditioner. You said the Nourish and Shine right there? The Nourish and Shine, that new one? I've um, been loving that. It's been hot. Yeah, I've been using that, but I say it's in my top three. Yeah, oh, the, okay. the Wee Dad Ultra Nourishing. This brand new one um, is a good deep Let's conditioner. See. Why am I drawing blanks right now? I don't know. I just love the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey one. It's most of the one I grab. We'll just go with that. What is the best deep Makes it easy to show. Uh, what is the best Diva Curl Deep Conditioner? It depends on what you want. There's, they have a strengthening mask that has like protein in it, or they have the moisture one. Oh, I forgot about that. That's a good one, too. What we're doing is we're just telling you what they have, but as far as our opinion on what's the best, we don't know because we don't really reach for those as our deep conditioners. But but so. they're, they're two different kinds. Oh, no, there's yeah. also the Heaven and Hair. Did we ever use uh, the yes, Heaven and Hair? Yes, yes. I used to use Heaven and Hair. I like, the, um, I like the moisture one, though. The moisture one's pretty decent. I didn't like it at first, but then I used it with the Q redo and um yeah I'm sorry for kind of missing some of your guys questions I yeah. can like half see right this is now not like a Friday it's like night so live. blurry We're my here. iPad's dead I can't see okay so Paget 30 said I love curl immersion too yes 
Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> Therese Robinson. The, um, what else is good? Oh, 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 oh. The, um, the Aussie Moist Miracle Curl Deep Conditioner. That's a great one, too. How often like do we deep condition? Shelly wants to know. We're supposed to weekly. I swear it's been like three weeks since I've deep conditioned, and that's why my hair was like, I've been, I think I've been dealing with some extra shedding, and my hair is just very, very dry. So I was like, that's why I was like, we're not waiting. We're deep conditioning right now. Before but, I was on YouTube, I guess that you would say, because I wash my hair every single day, I guess you could say I deep conditioned every day because every day I put curl rehab in my hair um, as a leave-in, mm -hmm. practically. Not practically, I did. Yep, the Jesse Curl Deep Conditioner. Yeah, y'all keep adding them. John, my memory. The Jesse Curl Deep Conditioner, that's a great one. That one helped me recover from protein overload because that doesn't have protein in it. It's very moisturizing. That was a great one, the Jesse Curl Deep uh, Conditioner. Yes, Cheryl, don't do it. Do not put oil in your hair. I learned the hard way when I did my hair, uh, dyed my hair red a few years ago. Beautiful, oh, that? burgundy, beautiful red. And by Christmas time, it was jet black. And she asked, did I, I, and I told her I put oil in because that was when I was doing the castor oil challenge and I didn't know because when I was renting my hair, I didn't see any red in the bathtub. Oh my gosh. It took all the color out. And I, and I found out that oil and the hair color, not a good combination. So sure, if you've got your hair done, do not put oil in it. Oh my gosh, your hair was like such a pretty red. And you used to oh, keep, right. And um, you put all that Jamaican black castor oil in it. Oh, yeah. And you took the color right out. It went from like a nice, pretty, like burgundy red to like a dark plum purple. <laughs> it that was, was like, the first step. And yeah. then after that, it just went jet black. Yeah. Yes, algae be new. Yep, that, that was one of mine. Um, um, where did you get the feed? The, but it's um, moved down now. Those. The, the telephone cords. I got them at my beauty supply store back before they knew their worth. They were 39 cents each, and so I got like every color, every stretch. Every, it's so cute. Now they know their worth. They're like, you get two for 4.99. I have never found 39 cents since they knew their worth. Um, I, I, I was in Ulta the other day, and they had them sent it now, like bakery goods, and two for 7.99. I think it was. So I'm glad I stocked up when I did. Like my hair, I've just been like getting like these little like snag thing but i don't know if you guys can see that but like my hair is just like hi yeah. on my hands um it's ayana said that my hair looked different in the igk video than usual yeah like it's products different products do like different things yes. so that one kind of it almost i almost had the wet look in that video like my hair was longer and my, my curls definitely did look different like it was a cute look i thought it was cute it was, it was different uh -huh. definitely different oh they were in walmart too how much are they in walmart because i want to get more but I'm not going to be taken advantage of because I know I got them for 39 cents initially each. So for people who are new, um, Mom, what deep conditioner are you using? For those that have just showed up, I am using the one that I've been raving about in all our Sotanical series, the Sotanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic. That's what I'm using for my deep conditioner. It's a moisturizing conditioner. I don't believe it has protein in it because I did protein. I did Afro-G um, a few days ago. So... Karen Spearman said that she, oh, I didn't say what I use. I use this, um, I'm using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafur Oil uh, intensive, intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And Karen Spearman said she used Aussie for the first time today to detangle her hair and loved how it detangled. And then she deep conditioned with the Manuka Honey Deep Conditioner. That sounds like a fire wash day. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome wash day. Yeah, no, the Aussie, I'm telling you, was unmatched. Love it. That's what she said. I, I know, love, when love we were at Target today, you are like, we have to go down the Aussie aisle. Okay. That's the only thing there. Um, I love the Miracle Curl line, but in uh, the Target we typically go to, it's not there. It's no, like it's in not. a different one, a different town, and we never go to that town. So, and you know, as it always disappoints, it disappointed tonight. It wasn't there. <laughs> well, I just love this stuff. It has such great slip because my hair is just a ball of tangles right now mm -hmm. and product and everything in it and just look it's just going right through yeah the same with my shea moisture like i'm able to detangle my hair with this deep conditioner right now it's amazing but this is the way i used to feel about the curl junkie curl we have and i still do if i had to choose this one eked it out ever so slightly but but barely it's almost non-negotiable you know yeah i don't it's not almost you don't need to mention it i just grabbed this tonight but if I really would have thought about it, I probably would have grabbed a curl immersion. But mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have as much slip to me as the afro -tastic. I wanted to grab like 10 deep conditioners. I was that like panicked about how dry my hair was. I was like, I'm going to put this in and this in and this in. I was like, let me down. I think these people, people think I'm crazy. Layering all these deep conditioners. I want it to. I know. When I thought about my weed ad and I could have done that, I was like, let me slap weed ad in. But, um, I don't know. Guys, so let's see. No questions, guys. 
I guess Sundays are wash days. Um, not necessarily. Um, it was just bored today. But we just noticed that it needed some help, so we said, let's just do this. We yeah. just finished filming a video, so. Yeah, we filmed to get the week started, but no, um, pretty much every day is wash day, or filming days are wash days. So, no, Sundays are not. Yeah, even though we need to crank it back the other direction now, because every day is absolutely not wash day. I'll, um, like, we gotta stop. Like, it's too much. Right. <laughs> it's too much. So, um, we need to do other things. We're back to doing other things. I feel like we're going hard with the tutorials again. Yeah. And now we gotta bring it back the other direction and do some talk-throughs during the week because it's too much washing but yeah. people you guys ask like does it affect your hair oh uh, yeah and we never thought it did but we're seeing now that it does so it's gonna go easy on it Let's see oh it's miss sct hey oh, look at that I'm the birthday girl <laughs> Let's see. Oh, gosh. why am i like why is my sight blurring um, I don't know. Oh, Maybe that great big light? These contacts are just old or something. I don't know. Like, I stare at your phone and I, like, go to see a word and it just blurs. Like, I can't see. <laughs> Somebody slap me on some deep conditioner tomorrow. <laughs> Is anybody deep conditioning right now? Is anybody slapping a deep conditioner in? I know we've heard that Texture ID is really good. This is not a Friday and, like, all the people <laughs> are here. Right. You guys are here, all like, it's a Friday. Players. <laughs> um, what affects your hair washing it all the time or constantly using different products? What affects what affects our hair? Well, both of those things affect it, washing it all the time and constantly using different products. We were saying that today. Because um, yeah. you were saying you, back in the day, you didn't do second, third, fourth day hair. Like, you no. washed your hair every day. So you yes. were like, you don't think that's it. And I'm like, well, maybe it's because I had switching a and swatching of products. I used one brand of products for years at a time, at least for two years before I had the Big Chop. I used the one brand of products so I wasn't switching and swatching but now we're using all kinds of products all kinds of brands all kinds of ingredients healthy or yeah. not um, it's got to take its toll yeah and some things and like we're is. experiencing right now is shedding our hair yeah. I lost I feel like I lost quite a bit of hair today and I washed my hair this morning mm -hmm. I want I mean you know what? I think it's in the garbage well, the on. amount of hair that you yeah. lost okay yeah and I've done Afoji two days ago or three days ago and but when it only stops on a dime it's not I mean look at Look at that. We filmed on Tuesday. Today was so this was after six days. I kind of felt like it was a lot of hair. I felt like it was a lot. I finger detangled. Then I this is what I pulled off of a brush, off of a wet brush. So um, y'all let me know. Something called water damage. One of six. Andy said. Hi to all the people. We're not saying hi back to. Yes, hi. I know. I know Sorry. We, just came we can't even do our you. shout outs tonight. <laughs> I know. We just literally just have you guys keep us company while we do such a boring yeah ass. no the blonde hair goes first yeah the same people are saying see a lot of, yeah a lot of the full slab that's always what first. goes first right that's not a lot for six days okay it just looked like a lot this morning i was like <gasps> that's what i felt like it wasn't a lot like no you don't think yeah for six days is it because it's summer um i don't know if it's because it's summer i know that it's almost like when you're pregnant, um, your hair grows a lot, and then when um, after my first baby was four months old, then it just shed a lot because they said because it, it grew a lot during that time and it never shed. I guess there's cycles of hair growth and hair shedding. So maybe the summer, I know my hair, and you guys know, you said it often, wow, Lori, and your hair grows so fast, and it really did this summer. So maybe now it's just going through a cycle now of just getting rid of all that extra growth. Oh goodness, because my hair cut. Thanks, Cheryl Singleton. She likes my shirt. Great color. It's from Curl <laughs> District. Anybody who wants to know. They sent us some shirts uh, last year. This shirt. I like this shirt. Okay, so yeah, um, a lot of people are saying it's not bad for six Not days. much? Okay, it just, yeah. I don't know. Was it La... La, La Someone, I think La it was Ari. Story. I think it was Ari who asked. We were going to the Q&A questions. Um, I just popped it and popped in my head. Or Was it Ari? Somebody asked. I don't remember. But they said... What's like your biggest hair struggle right now? Or maybe it was Candy Curls. What's your biggest hair struggle? And I said for mine, it's maintaining length. Because I feel like just as my hair starts to grow, it starts like shedding again. And it's been doing that since like November 2017. Mm -hmm. It will, you know, the summer of 2017, it was long and flourishing. And then by November, it was shedding and it, my hair fizzled out. And then we got the Rezo cuts. Yep. And then I feel like it grew back from the Rezo cut, like in March, it was looking good, and now it's just like shedding on and off, and my length just keeps coming and going, and like I can't maintain, you know, the length I want. Yeah. It's, and then I don't know. my hair was doing great, you know, after I did the big chop, um, it was doing really good. Then yes, I did get the Rezo cut back in December, and then I recently got um, the, the, the gentleman that cut my hair 
when he was at the salon that did the bezel cut has now has his own salon and so Joe Ortiz um, love the way he did my hair it's not about the salon or the building to me it's the person so I tracked him down he's at Angel Salon now and that's where I found him and he cut my hair about what before, Be before South Carolina before South Carolina so, so in June in June? Yep, very recently. And yeah. I'm, I thought maybe at the time, and somebody said in the comments to me, of it may not be because it needs a haircut. That's not always the case. So it's got to be deeper than that. And it, I think it is deeper than that because he did cut my hair, did reshape it, and it's still kind of shedding. So I think it's um, all these wash and goes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Miss um, SCT said my ends are thinning out beyond dusting. Yeah, they probably are. Probably need to cut about here. But I'm not doing that. No, at because the moment. it's the makeup of your hair. They said your hair has different curl textures. So maybe A is down here, B could be here. You always say C's in your roots. Mm -hmm. So you cut this, and this is just going to drag it on down, and you're still going to have short. Now my those yeah. ends are going to fizzle out, and now I'm yeah. going to have short hair. Yeah. <laughs> so um, my rezo cut came out jacked up. Yeah. So we were talking about that today about rezo cuts and diva cuts and Mona cuts and Mono's hair cuts, and <laughs> we don't think it's all these fancy names it's all a curly cut yeah it's the stylist we think like we think it's, it's the stylist. stylist yeah yeah we think it's the stylist we think it's the stylist i was the stylist last time when i did the big chop everyone was like what is your haircut what's your haircut it's so cute it was a big chop grown back it was a big chop grown back yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was nature yep that's why yeah. before the rezo cut people used to ask who cut my hair and mine was like a dyed job grown back yeah and, mine, and then me fall out the grown end. back yeah yeah. My hair was like all different lengths and layers and whatnot. Oh. Um, I see people saying happy birthday to Denise. I forgot it's Denise's birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, let me see. Let me get let me get down to Denise the Denise Rivera. Oh, happy birthday. So you can trim a little at a time. Yeah, it's probably time to trim the ends again, probably. Oh, I There's just so much to do, not enough time in the day. I always say that. So many products, so little time. So little so time. Many so so many things to do, just not enough time. Okay. Um so Kelsey, what was your experience? Um, why did it come out jacked up? Did, that, did, that, did they not listen to your lead and your guidance, or um, what happened there? Because I think sometimes the stylist has their own vision, and then the person comes in with their own vision, and there should be a halfway thing. I don't think it should be bow guarded over, and they tell you what looks good. I think you should tell them what you think looks good. Like, I'll go into a store, and they'll say, oh, come, 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 come here. I'm like, basically, for what? And they're like, oh, we look, this color will look so good on you. And then they'll pull out a pink tube of lipstick. I'm like, absolutely not. No like, oh, no, 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 the color on your lip. Let me show you how it can look better. Nope, nope, I know it looks good on me, and pink lipstick does not. So, nope, that won't be happening. I will not be sitting down in that swivel chair. <laughs> Have me looking like a clown. So, for those that just came in, we're doing deep conditioners tonight. This impromptu. I'm using Sotanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic. It's my new favorite. And you are using Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura <laughs> Oil. <laughs> there we go. Wait, Mafura Oil. Intensive hydration, something. Okay. All right. See, before. <laughs> um, yeah, intensive hydration hair mask. Okay. What's the difference between a mask and a deep conditioner? Is there a difference? Sound off in the comments. Yeah, yeah. what's the difference? Is it just the name? Um, what is it? Any recommendations for deep conditioners for kids? Can't you use the same products on adults and kids? Um, not necessarily. Sometimes. Depends on how old the child how old? is. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Someone said no difference, just fancy names. Okay. <laughs> like they do souffles and oh, butters. And my stylist gave me a shag cut. What's a shag cut? I don't know what a shag Sounds cut. Sounds busted. Is it like different <laughs> la different layers? Mask equals repair. Deeps equal moisture. <laughs> this NCT said, Leslie, you here? <laughs> Tea and onion rinses now, Cheryl? Oh no. Yeah, um, <laughs> she just it, it, it is house. busted. That's the worst. And then all you can do is basically just grow it out. That's it. She does not understand how tight my curls are. I think I had a love hate relationship with my bangs. I was looking at pictures the other day and I kind of wanted them back again. But it took me like a while to get used to them having bangs on my forehead. Let's see, they're looking for people. Come out, come out wherever you are. Samantha, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Deep, con deep conditioner should be more intense. For kids, I don't know, because I don't have little kids anymore, and yeah. I wasn't really doing that. Anybody like who have churin, do you deep condition their <laughs> hair? <laughs> Chillin, churin. Okay. Yeah, maybe just like, some, um, D Curly says bangs are so cute, I'm so tempted. Yeah, maybe just like 
one time to get curly bangs. Oh, Miss SCT said mask equals repair and deep equals moisture. Interesting. Repair, so it was repair. So I always thought repair had some sort of protein in it. Kelsey T says she only wanted one because of us. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Who wanted one? She only wanted one because of us, a rezo cut. <laughs> Uh, so repair, does repair mean protein? Does this have protein in it? Um, she said mask means, uh, repair means mask. Or mask means repair. Does, does it? I don't know. What are the sources? That's, and this SCT? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's too late. My eyes are too blurry right now. I can't see even all that extra lighting. It's too, the printing is too tiny. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> My eyes. Did anybody go get the free lipstick with the purchase from MAC? Nope. I didn't. Mask oh, there's someone, Denise it. Rivera. She says her twins are one, um, and my big girl is six. I deep condition <laughs> with what I use for myself. Mask seems thicker. It is busted, Kelsey T. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who cuts your hair? Who cuts your hair? We saw TGIN tonight, and I'm... Um, so are your contacts bothering? Yes, they are. I need to um, make a new appointment because I swear, like, every couple of months, my sight gets worse. Kelsey T said, back to the 80s we went. <laughs> okay, we're not doing this tonight. I can't. Did you put my time out? Looks <laughs> like I made a second account. You sure did. You want to try the IGK trust issues? Yeah, it's good. I like it for my um, itchy scalp. Mask. Yes. But I can't say the word. Yes. You know, <laughs> right, I reason, know. The reason why it's itchy after I know. the gym, you know, hear, I can't you know hear those happens. kinds of words. It's bodily fluids. I can't. Okay. Too much, too much, too much. I'm just modest. I uh, three miles. <laughs> <laughs> the word is too much. It's too much. Okay. He sure was, and in the, in the, in the operative word here was, he was back. <laughs> Shag is short, is short on top and long in the back. Oh wow! Sure. Oh wow. wow! Almost like like Andy Gibb, like back in the seventies. Ma, who's Andy Gibb? <laughs> I'm not. Andy, the, yeah, it was Andy. It was the young one, right? Um, or like the Hardy Boys. Who was it? Sean Cassidy. Like they always had like the, that shaggy. Um, uh, Partridge, uh, David Partridge, the oldest son. Like is that, they always were she said shaggy. yes, Andy Gibbs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> David Partridge. Yeah. Has anyone tried the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Hair Bee Gees wow. yeah. Hair Milk line? So we fun. haven't done the hair milk one. No, we haven't. I've seen it, but it smelled too floral for me. Like flowers. I like bakery smells. Aww. So Thank um, you, Mary Posta, for watching us. <laughs> she didn't make her this channel makes her miss her mom. Aww. Mamas. That's why I like Carol's daughter almond because it smells like bakery. But the milk I smelled and I want it so bad I like it. Trust me, I really do. I even wanted to get the foam when we were doing our foam series. I couldn't I just can't do the the flower the flower the floral smell that smells like flowers. I like more sweeter smells. So apparently today was National Lipstick Day. We didn't get no lipstick. Because we didn't buy nothing. I know. How long will you keep your deep conditioners? And probably till tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. We probably we plan on filming again tomorrow. So. Yep. So the next step is, I don't think we have in here, just put a plastic cap on our head. Um, we're going to be sitting I, here with plastic caps? No. Oh. That's why I said the next step would be. <laughs> a plastic cap and then mm -hmm. probably like a, um, a scarf. Um, tie right. Um, or Will you use any amount yes. of heat? Typically, I would. Like, I would be sitting here right now using my Q-Redo. We have two Q-Redos in the house, mm -hmm. and both of them don't work. And we tried the vinegar trick, and so, like, I need to reach out to the person or the, the company and be like, because eh, we got them last year. So mm -hmm. neither, one of them, neither one of them are working. And um, Probably because we have hard water in the house, Yeah, right? we have hard water. And we should have used this. And we don't, we don't dump it out when we're done. So it's, we probably caused our own issues mm -hmm. with it. But I love the Q-Redo. I love using the handheld steamer. You did, yeah. I really did. And I really wish I had it right now because it does, for me, change my deep conditioning game a lot. Okay. So. I, hey, I tried the Cream Restore and I'm officially addicted. Told you. Told you guys, it's oh, nothing yeah. like it. Is it just it's so soft. like it just, just melts? It just goes through your hair. It has such slip, right? Nothing like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Cheryl Singleton thought of a venue for our meet and greet. I South Street uh, Seaport. Okay. Lincoln Village Restaurant in the Village. Huh. Um, anybody ever use the Yes to Carrots mask? Mickey Sanders asked. From back in the day. I, I know the Yes to Carrots line. <laughs> oh yeah, Tate Curls. You are our, uh, 
our um our Q redo winner. What? We did for our March Madness. Yeah. Did you ever get a hot head? I had a hot the hot head the hot tools. Remember that, the cap? Yep. Yep. And then we had like mice in the house in the winter, and it ate it. It ate a hole straight through it in my drawer. It was and just like it just it was creepy. Like it just it just made us see how close the mice really were. Like we would wake up and we would have we put traps around because we lived in, like kind of like deep in the country, so yeah. we knew that it exists. It comes out like for a certain time of year, and it just. I can't deal with it, but yeah. we have to. I went in my but. drawer, and there was like, it looked like it built a house in yeah. there, and it ate a hole through it. Yeah, it seemed like they got a little bolder this year. Yeah, so, um, so but th yeah. That, that was good, too. You stick it in the microwave, and it heats up, and you put it on your head. Yeah. What color lipsticks are you both wearing? I'm wearing... I'm wearing what I'm always wearing. What I mentioned wearing? it the other night. Where is it? Yeah, mine's oh. a little different tonight, so I think I'm wearing... Tardis. I'm actually in front of our makeup. We're sitting at our makeup table right now. Um, yeah, right. I always line with the MAC Chestnut Pencil, and um, I use the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. This is like my go-to. Love this so much. I have MAC Stone I line with, and then I'm using Tardis. Um, I think it's called Rave. So I don't think they make it anymore, though. I just love when that happens. But they might. I don't think they do, though. He sounds like a keeper, Kia. She said her boyfriend always warms up her hothead for her on cue when she's deep conditioning in the shower. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool, right? <laughs> Heard Mac, Mac lipsticks aren't cruelty free. They're not. They're not a cruelty free company. Oh, they're not. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was always like an uproar. I don't. What else? Who else is like? Uh, well, let me not start speaking because I don't know. But I, I know Mac definitely isn't. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. The Mac chestnut pencil is everything. Everything good in life is the Mac chestnut pencil. Uh, Mac stone. Mac mm -hmm. oak. Um, and I have all the old ones, Mac, Hodgepodge, oh, um, her Pork. Her said her mom made the best Jamaican food. Oh, oh, I wish I could have a plate to go, a to-go plate. <laughs> Free is a good price. I'm stuck on Urban Decay these, these days. days. Oh, that's what I used on my eyes today. They kind of look a little busted because it's been like all day. Mm -hmm. But um, they're, um, yeah. you know, thank you, Urban Decay. Yeah, love like, you, man. I was sent, um... Yeah. I'm back on their PR list because I had to do a, an Instagram unbraggaging, but um, their yeah. newest palette. My favorite is the warm one. I use that today. It, I think this is this is a good palette. I like it. Yeah. And my so. favorite is the warm one. Love this one so much. Why does he keep making accounts? I don't know. Touch, touch, touch. Where's um Ashley? She calls out the ones that are touched. Hi, Alejandro. Do you like curly hair? Like, what's your claim to fame? I see you keep making accounts. It's the eleven-year-old. Now he made Alejandro three. He subbed. Okay, we're not, we're not, we're not blocking you, sweetheart, because you didn't sub. We're just, we're just watching you. That's all. That's all. The mother and me. Miss SCT said, "I can't imagine why people care about cruelty-free yet aren't vegan. Hypocrisy at its finest. If people like pick and choose." Kind of like sometimes with religion, like take do you do a little of this, but don't do that. Like because I keep people. getting blocked a million times. It doesn't sound like an eleven year old though, because the eleven year olds will debate adults really like that. So I'm questioning. What do you guys think? Let's put it to the test. Does Alejandro Rodriguez the third third account now sound like an adult or a child? I think he sounds like an adult to me. Val Val, how many wash and goes are considered too much? Speaking from people that have done it for the last year and a half. That only do wash and goes. That was another question. Why do you guys only do wash and goes? Because we, that's the only thing that works. Twist outs don't work. Well, right not, not that it doesn't work. It's that, well, okay, yeah, no. Twist outs don't work for us, but we just don't have the technique down. We, we just don't know how to do that. So um, I wish I knew how to do a braid out. We kind of dabbled in it a few months ago. It came out okay. It survived the next day, but we're just not expert at mm -hmm. it. So we yeah. just do what we look And it's familiar. easy. For us, it's easy just to slap the product in mm -hmm. and go. Wash and go. Yes, and Gloria, and I agree with you, adult. Yeah, because when we went over the um, the comments the other day, I said, mm -mm. certain 11-year-olds <laughs> don't sound like that. They Letter 5-1, where's your mama? I always ask when I see children by themselves. <laughs> right? I know. It, I said the, the comebacks, the, the, the aggressiveness, the two-to-one-ing an adult, um, ask us our age. 11 year olds just don't, unless they're not raised properly, don't ask adults their age. So I just feel like it's not an adult. And oh, so, interesting. Um, Cheryl Singleton said she saw my picture on Instagram on Google. I'm sorry, she saw my picture on Google today. I forgot who posted, but the topic was how we maintain our highlights. Oh, okay. Cool. 
so, all the topics they did on Google? I know somebody asked me in my DMs. I forget her name. But she, I think, was it Candy Crush? I don't know why I keep saying Candy Crush. I think it was her. But someone has a blog. And okay. I, she asked me one time. So that might be, it might have been like a blog post. Oh, like a while ago, she asked, like, some tips on maintaining highlights. And I was like, I gave a couple of tips. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, Google Plus. Okay. I saw a video pop up on my feed with that new diva cream. Her video was whack, too. Okay. <laughs> this is SCT. <laughs> Uh, Lorian, are you curl type 3C, 4A? Um, no, I'm more like 3B, maybe portions of 3C, I think. Yeah. Even though today when I first came on, it, it, it definitely looked a little more textured. I think it looked, about, I, you know, it, it, who knows? You know, I think the more I get it cut, the more the texture changes. So there are moments, maybe even on more humid days, um, that it looks thicker. So I don't know. You guys are better at guessing our hair types than we are at times. Yeah. Um, so people keep saying they want to see our, um, our bedtime they, they, they want to see our bedtime hair. Like we can make a dedicated video to it, but it's literally going to be like four minutes long. If that, like, if my hair is done, I put it in a high ponytail and sleep on a silk pillowcase. That is our, that's my nighttime routine, and yours is what you showed in the beginning of a live. When it first came on, you stick it into pineapple. How long leave it on here now? When I yeah. first, I literally like the first. Within the first three minutes, I think I did the two pineapples when my hair was dry, and I just put um, one pineapple on one side, one on another, with my little my little telephone cord, as I call it, so right there, and so I um, stretched it out, and I put one on one side and one on another, and my hair was dry, and I just showed you if my hair were dry, that's how I would go to bed, split it down the middle, pineapple here, pineapple here, and that would have been done. Yeah. And now that it's wet, this will be it tonight, I'll just put a plastic cap over it to keep the heat in. Um... You put a twisty, a turby twist turby on? on your hair. No. no so you have a plastic cap just to show them, like so. Yeah. No, I won't do that because that we're gonna put one of these on. Yeah. And then a but like a bandana on our head. I don't think it will stay on, and it needs something to keep the heat in. So I would just put this on to keep the heat in. And before we film, I always put this on, and then put the the turby twister, that microfiber thing. I would definitely would put the microfiber towel on without this because it would soak up to me all the moisture no matter how much it says it doesn't. It does. And, and I don't think it will stay on with this plastic if I'm like <laughs> sleeping, so I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so tonight I'll just put this on and maybe like an old fashioned bandana scarf on my head and tie it tight, pull it taut. This SBT says she's in rare form tonight. She's just talking. She's hilarious. <laughs> She said she watched a video today that ended up being a long shower clip. She said she was going back to auntie's videos, <laughs> shower scenes. Um, right. Yeah, shower cap, plastic cap first, and bandana. Yeah, bandana is cotton. It would just soak out all the moisture. Mm -hmm. So, um, but before I knew any better, I would always put a bandana on. And now I know better. Hi to all the new people popping in. We were deep conditioning our hair. Mm -hmm. Um, earlier in this clip, so now we're just chatting. Some new people see. Wish I could get some dinner. <laughs> Is it shady? We have a field trip to the kitchen. <laughs> right. Um, thanks for the tip. I'm going to try this technique. Yeah, it's just something different, you know, when you just want to quickly do it, just slap it in. Yep. So, it was like, slap we didn't come here in. freshly washed, we came here freshly styled, and we just use a spray bottle, wet our hair in sections, and just yep. put in our favorite. We had product in our hair. We, yep. we just filmed a video, but we were like, let's put them in. We wet our yeah. hair a little bit. Since, like you said, spray bottle, put them in. Sometimes That's you have it. to do your own thing. Sometimes manufacturers will tell you or brands will tell you, you know, first wash with our, with our um, you know, cleansing shampoo and then follow up with our deep conditioner and then, you know, start applying our product. Well, of course they'll say that because they want you to use everything in their line. But you kind of have to step outside the mold and figure things out for yourself. And so we figured out one time when we were tired that we can just do this. It's just as effective for hair. It's um, freshly styled, fully dried. We just re wet it again, even though the product might come to the surface. That's okay. Just all gets slathered back down, slapped back down, and we just add the um, deep conditioner. We keep getting new people, our, our people in the room keep going up and down. So we just ask what deep conditioners are we using? Did you just say the Sultanicals Afrotastic? Yep, we just that's need to what I'm using. Sit them on our heads. Like the Sultanicals Afrotastic, I'm using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey <laughs> Mefer Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. Mm -hmm. And we recommend these for moisture. I do. So it's a moisture and curl definition. Like these, my curls bounce after this. Yes. And a lot of people in the comments are concurring. I love so. this. To me, this is, um, the slip is incredible. So yeah. when I start that my one, hair you have dry. to order. 
online. Yeah. This one you have to order. This one's um, more like I feel like it's accessible on the ground, but that's a that that's worth the purchase. Yeah, I believe if you're gonna naturally curly has order it, it if you wanted to get it on in any sort of um, fast time. So Tanicles itself will make the brand. The shipping is just not that good, so you will be waiting forever in a day during their sale times. Now I have really have never ordered. You know, but maybe the first time I ordered, I did it outside of their sales, so um, mm -hmm. it might have come a little bit faster. I think that's why. I was shocked the next time I ordered during their sale, and it took forever. But aside from that, I believe it's on the street um, in my Rite Aid. That's your slipperiest mask. Yes. Someone said, what's the slipperiest mask this you've ever used? Right or the here. deep conditioner? Yeah. yeah. Great right slip. Here. This Shea Moisture has great slip. Mm -hmm. And the Aussie, um, Aussie Miracle Curls deep conditioner, amazing slip as well. Amazing slip. Okay. How long do you keep the Shea Moisture on? I'm leaving it in overnight tonight because it's in. I'm just going to leave it in, and I'm, cause I'll be washing my hair tomorrow morning. And you have to know your hair. You have to know what your hair can take and what your hair can't take. Some people can't. They often say, though, if a deep conditioner does not work within the first 20 to 30 minutes, it's not really worth its its weight. You know, it's just not a, deep, a good deep conditioner. Um, and I just learned that recently. I always put deep conditioners in and leave them on um, well overnight. So I don't know um, the truth of all that. Someone asked um, before, had you um, used the uh, Camille Rose deep conditioner? And I was like, how do I use that no, one? No, have you used it? The algae renew? renew? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I came on the channel with um, last year. Up until, I think maybe I might have introduced with, during our Curl Junkie video, uh, another one that I kind of like interchanged with. And then once this came along, then um, I was like kind of like stuck on this until I tried the weed out, I think when we were in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And so now lately I've been stuck on that one. Yeah. But absolutely, I think I used it so much that when I got the highlights, I took it to the salon because they didn't have it there. And I and I think I was on their page of showing how I bought it to the salon and put it in my hair. So no, I am definitely a fan of the Algae Renew, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, Janelle J said, do you notice a big difference in your hair deep conditioning overnight versus like 20 minutes, whatever the directions are? No. No, we're just lazed right now. Yeah. And I think back in the day, I used to always deep condition overnight because I actually thought it was doing more. Me too. But uh, no, there's yeah, no difference. No, no. And there's no harm or there's no benefit. It's mm -hmm. just that we just put it in and we'll rinse it out in the morning because we're not going to be sitting over a sink or getting in the shower rinsing it out. Yeah. So that's why. But no, I don't see the benefits of anything. I think it, there is something probably to that the 20 to 30 minute window. If it doesn't work by then, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I think there's something to that. Yeah, some people say you can like over, overnight, like you can like send your hair maybe, to, what is it, to high growth fatigue mm -hmm. or something like that. Maybe if your hair is sensitive, um, but we never, we never experienced that and we deep conditioned our hair overnight for years all the time, so. So Lisa Powell said, I like the coconut water better. Yeah, we have that treatment, um, the coconut water um, styling treatment or something. But um, no, I still kind of like the Algae yeah. Renew one. We never did hot oil treatments. We never did scalp massages. We didn't do any of that. N mm -hmm. None of those things. Did I do it when I was going through my big chop? I would hang over the side of the bed and do the... That's inversion or something. The inversion. <laughs> the inversion. <laughs> okay. I was like, I was going to get my hair to go back. I would hang over and blow would brush to my head. I almost pass out. Try to yeah. bring my head back. But um, I've never done a hot oil treatment. I didn't treatment. do hot oil. I did oil, but I didn't. Do, it wasn't hot. Because oil yeah. doesn't do much for my hair like that like I prefer mm. like a deep conditioner like a cream but if like hot, like oil doesn't do much for my hair really like I don't know does inversion okay. work um they say it does you I, it I I you didn't do it enough really I you were hanging over the I side couldn't. of the bed every day I couldn't the blood was rushing to my head it was yeah. crazy yeah no, don't do that I couldn't do it long enough to to see if it would work and I think some of those to me during that time you're so desperate you want your hair to grow back and you will try to sort everything and at some point I had to be like like wake up like some of this stuff is just like gimmicky like put um eggs in your head and it, your hair will grow and overnight and just it's just a lot of things that you when you're really wanting your hair to grow and you're just desperate and you're reaching for all these YouTube videos that are, are showing that your hair will grow in a week and a night and less than 24 hours in an, in an hour and then they'll have a picture of their hair on one side and it's up here and on the other side it's down here and it's just that's interesting now, time is what we say time Miss SDT said, speaking of deeps with heat, she'll wet and heat in the microwave an old tea and make it a turban, free moisture. Oh, yes, because they do say with this one to apply a hot towel on top of this, on top of like a plastic bag. So before I go to sleep, I may or may not do that. But I think when you, especially in this kind of weather now, you know, during the night, your hair is just going to retain moisture and heat anyway. Mm -hmm. So just this alone is going to keep it in. 
So, um, but definitely that's a good idea. Oh, I made a fourth one. It's weird. Hmm? You I made what? Him. I said I got sick of his comments, so I blocked him again, and he just made a fourth page. Wow. That's an adult. Weirdos. Um, under a hooded dryer, we have a hooded dryer, Tori. I've done that. Um, it's just yeah. Like, we stopped doing it after the cure redo because we thought like the mm -hmm. the heat was like dry heat, and like we like I like the moisture I of the cure redo. I think it's I think it's I think it's very moisturizing heat, but it's just to me it was so inconvenient once I had the cure redo. But actually, I really actually gravitated towards the heated dryer. You were the one that kept trying but to get me to do the cure But like, steam is like steamy. Steam is like moisture. That's mm -hmm. just like hot air. Um, no, I don't head. think it is. I think it's a. It's a uh, to hood a dryer over your head, keeping in the heat, and I, I believe when I come away, my hair is super soft. I don't think it's a hot, dry heat. I think that was just another way of doing it, the, the steam, but no, I still have to stand by my hooded dryer. I love my little hooded oh, dryer. I do always go against what I No, I don't go No, I'm totally, I'm totally kidding. We have, like, two <laughs> different types of hair, two different whatever. Yeah, no, I what love the do. heat. I love the yeah. heated dryer, the hooded dryer. Wait till you see our new coming video. We went in, like, two opposite directions, <laughs> and we came back on the same direction, and we went two opposite directions again, like, our latest review. Yeah. <laughs> like, um... Should I get okay. a Cure Redo or a steamer? Use it under. Whichever one's gonna last longer. I don't know. The Cure Redo lasted a year, and that. But again, that could be because like we have hard water. But I personally love the Cure Redo. But I say wait till Black Friday, because <laughs> you get like twenty dollars off. I know, like right around the it's corner. Like, right, Christmas <laughs> is coming. See, yeah, everyone has a hot head, and we have to get a hot head. Plugged. Yeah, I know. We have to get a hot head. Definitely. Good night, Vanessa. Thanks for stopping by. Hardly ever use heat for deep conditioning. I really kind of don't either. Um, I just go with the flow because I feel like in the middle of the night, just a plastic bag will retain that okay. heat automatically. Thanks for coming, Vanessa Bristow. We know it was impromptu. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. People have to work tomorrow. Yes, so I know. Folks gotta go to work. Um, I that as well. Let's see, anything else interesting going on before we shut it on down? Oh, shut it on I know I'm on some Zoom home. Um, good night, girlfriend. Thanks. To, okay. Um, good night, D. Curly. I know it's late, guys. I know, and it's I not know. a Friday. I know. When we thought of this idea, I'm like, hey, what time is it? Like, is anybody I'm like, it's 10. Out? I'm like, it's Sunday. Like, yeah. people gotta go to work tomorrow. Right? <laughs> the TXTR mask is good, too. That's a good one. Yes. I don't know. Like, the rest of the products, like, we did. They were cool. They were whatever. But the, the mask did stand out. Yeah. Yeah, totally. We love that one. When is the Q&A coming out? We're definitely gonna do it. Um, we actually, we went, we took the questions off of YouTube and off of Instagram, and then we narrowed them down, and then we narrowed them down again, and so um, we have the questions that we're going to answer, and um, we're going to film that very shortly. Yes. Okay, so I see Mickey Sanders talk about the Curl Junkie Repair Me. I love that one. That's with protein in it, so yep, love that one. Okay. Carol Smith says she's been in church all day, so she's relaxing now. Two services, like okay. a morning and a night service, or? The new Diva Cream, but she couldn't make a video because she had... Protective style. Today she posted um, a Mayel wash and go. Okay, that's what Miss SVP said. Another positive video. Probably it could be on the horizon, right? We've done a lot of stuff since our last positive, right? We have. Um, mm -hmm. We have, but um, I feel like our natural. I feel like our um, our product stash was kind of like a positive, but maybe like it has that's to be something true. shorter. Like who wants to sit and watch like an hour long? That's true. Product yeah, stash. But basically, our pro our our product stash was every product we have, and we basically talk about every single it was product one we great have. Big giant positive. positive. We were like, it was a very big talk through through everything. I didn't just just tell you what we were like. Whoosh, whoosh, everything we're getting rid of we were just everything we picked up like this for instance oh i remember when we got this remember when we got we had, it was so conversational it just went on and on and on mm -hmm. um i like the banana and hibiscus <laughs> yep like that curl junkie I don't know what we're going to do with her tonight. Sundays aren't a good night. <laughs> yeah, well, my block button works, so. We keep blocking, though. It's like pop-up like block fifth time. Like how many? I got, you know, all night. <laughs> <laughs> or however long we stay, whatever. Um, 
Right, very childhood, but I don't think it's a child for some reason. I think it's um, a touched adult that needs attention. You don't think it's an annoying kid mm -mm. who's just being annoying? Nope, I don't. He must be running out of emails. He must be. <laughs> that being monitored. Needs his binky. <laughs> <laughs> don't got me hooked on Aunt Jackie's curl maintenance. I bought three. Oh, look at Alex popped up. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, hold on, where'd it go? I got three of them and I don't want to use anything else. Yeah. No, the Aunt Jackie's curl maintenance, I love that too. That's great. Um, yeah, you like that one. Wait, you got that pack of wheel that you just love? The curl okay. maintenance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you love the, um, and I love the, the gel. The gel. Love that gel. What is it? The, uh, the stretch? Anti shrink or the, the, the yeah, whatever I love it that. Was. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try the Uncle Funky's daughter. Yeah, the, uh, this one, the, um, the curly magic is an unmatched gel. Yeah. It's a good gel. So we saw that in Target tonight on the bottom shelf for $15.99. And so like I said again, I'll reiterate tonight that the size that we had, a lot of people come in and say um, they got it for $15.99. Yeah, Target sells that size. But the one that we got was the $25 size. So there are two sizes. And Target does sell the $15 size. And it's smaller though. Miss S.E.T., are you really? She said she's finally going to do a wash and go. Are oh. you really? Is, that, is it really going down? The bye bye bubble. No, we haven't. We haven't tried um, any of the new Uncle Funky's products yet. And we have not. I don't think we're on the PR list, so we can't say thank you, Uncle Funky. <laughs> <laughs> no packages have come to us. Yet. Well, they sent us the stuff, but. Um, no, they, the, no, the two new products they came out with? Oh, yeah, like, no, we're not on the PR list, no. The they sent us for a very specific period of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which matters so much. The reasons it's not growing. Um, I've never heard that. What's that? Um, Yosha Loretta said, do you, do you all think by me touching my hair so much is the reason it's not growing? Oh, no. Am I not a hair toucher? Like, you are I'm such all, a hair toucher. I mean, you guys just see me on live. Do I not touch my hair like a hundred times during yeah. life? And I'm always doing this. Too much, ma too much manipulation? It. No, I don't no. think so. No. We manipulate unless our hair all the time. Unless when you're manipulating it, you're coming away and you're seeing um, strands, then yeah, unless yeah, your answer. Yeah, unless, yeah. No, I'm just always just playing with my hair, touching my hair, playing with my hair, yeah. touching my hair. But it is good, like, when you're, like, applying your products and detangling, like, to be yeah. delicate with your hair and take your time with your hair. Yes. Definitely take yeah. your time with your hair, like, when you're manipulating it, but, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say. No, because whose hair, like, really grew faster this summer than mine. I was shocked about the length it, um, and the speed that it grew. So, and I am definitely a hair toucher, so, um, I don't think that just my personal experience... I Mickey Sanders that. said she just got the Sultanical Super Hold and it does not super hold her hair. Do we have the Super Hold? Yeah, we do. Is that the is that the Frozen? Is it called Frozen? Is it the Frozen? What's is this? it in yeah, is it a yellow container? I think it's called Super Hold super, gel. Super Hold is that, gel. Is it called Frozen though? Let's see. Do we have any hobbies? Yes, I like to read. Yes, I like to read. You like to read? Mm-hmm. What else do you like to do? What hobbies do I have? Um, Is going to the gym a hobby? Is that a hobby? <laughs> well, it's an activity. It's, it's a new yeah. hobby. It's an activity. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, no. What else? Oh, my gosh. A quilt. A quilt. Well, I used to quilt. Used to quilt. <laughs> like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we were talking about things on Friday Night Live, whoever was there, and we were talking about, remember I had my doll that you guys hated my doll. I should have bought my quilt. I mean, my whole house is filled with beautiful quilts. I quilt. A hand quilt. Hand stitch pieces together and hand quilt so yeah that's yeah. what I do thank you Kelsey T's son <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> as a as a final <laughs> my money bags new hobby is block Alejandro wait what <laughs> Miss Effie T said your new hobby is block Alejandro <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's on it <clears throat> Okay, yes, um, working out could be a hobby. It's how you like to spend. Yes, okay. Yep, for the six. Nikki Sanders time. said Frozen is the super hold. Yeah, we got the Frozen in our on our birthday bag. But we haven't tried it yet. So what did she say about the Frozen? That no? And that, that wasn't it? Sorry, I'm blocking Alejandro for the sixth time. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. My hobby. Okay. Um, frozen so is the super hold. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, honestly, when, when we got it and I saw it, my hopes weren't very high just because of the way the Sultanical series has been going. So we'll see. We'll he see. probably has them lined up. He has to because he's on it, right? He is on it. So I know. They said, oh, he's mad. No, I know. He said freaking. He's like, for the sixth freaking time. That's not a child. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. 
Not a child. Trust my 51 years of wisdom. <laughs> Look at your little hairdo. I know how hair. a child talks, and that is not how a child talks. That's not how a child talks. Nope. Is, is Dan Stapleton He's a troll? To, oh, goodness. We got so many. But this, this ain't going to be a good I, idea. What, excuse me, why apply my lip pencil? <laughs> Why are you playing with them? Because I'm, I'm, I'm Oh, bored okay. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Now this person got to go to talking about weird food while I'm getting ready to eat dinner. All right. I can't. I don't know. Um, maybe because people are bored. I don't know. Maybe there's a thing on YouTube where you go to the page live stream to see mm -hmm. who's live and who isn't. So when they're bored and maybe they're YouTubers. But there's like millions there. of accounts. Mm -hmm. Like people who aren't. Following us, how do they find our live stream? Because they probably go to the live page, because there is a page, I think, for just live feeds at a certain time of day and night, and ours probably looks like the, the exciting one, because it's like real life people. Sometimes you go there, people are just talking to you, but you can't be very um, interactive, mm -hmm. so ours is very interactive, and it gives them a chance to be um, busted, as Taylor would say. Busted. Um, spark, sparkle RMP, what do you do with your hair when you work out? I put it in a bun. Like, I'll put it in a ponytail, then I'll wrap it tight in, like, a bun, and um, I'll do that, or I'll just put it in a pineapple ponytail. Just put it up. Maybe it's a bot. Could be, Tracy Williams. Could be, could be, could be. <laughs> People are loving our hair in your ponytail. Oh, I know that, Alice. Um, you do. I personally love. Um, um, I know it's not a child. It's um, somebody trying to act like a child. I know that. I've been clocked that. It's Ayana's coming with the questions Last tonight. Last Friday. <laughs> Favorite memories of each other. <laughs> wow. I know. Oh my gosh. Like when we you might have to rain check for Friday. Right? <laughs> We're together all the time. 24-7. So like everything's a memory. Oh my gosh. But it's like, oh, did we tell the story? But I feel like, did we tell the story? Which one? One of my favorite memories is when we went to that really rich town and you ordered all them sandals and we didn't know we'd have to pay. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So we went to this really, really rich town in Connecticut because they have like this like sports store or whatever. Yeah. And you were obsessed with like Eliza B shoes, like Eliza yeah. B sandals, which were like the ribbon. The, they were like black sandals. They were from like England. And like the thong part was like ribbon. And they went to normal like, flip flops. They were like a shoe. They said it was yeah. like a, um, a very sturdy shoe. And they were they were so cute the platform bottom where you put your foot through yeah they were just quality they fit very much like a shoe other than but it looked like a flip-flop yeah so I just had to and they made them you had to special order them it took maybe about three to six weeks to make them they came in like polka dots love polka dots gingham um, very cute um, plaid just so cute yeah and so they were having like a, a trunk, trunk show, yeah. yeah, or something. So we we went there, which basically like they showed all the fabrics or something, right? And you mm -hmm. could like design your own sandal. So we went to like really really rich town because they had this store, and that's where the trunk show was gonna be. So we mm -hmm. went to the store, and you started, you ordered like all these sandals, all to, these belts. I was used to ordering online, and they would take my order, and then they would like I would have about three to six weeks to pay for it because that's how long it took to make them. And by the time they came in the mail, well, I had gotten my money together, mm -hmm. so I didn't realize that going to the trunk show, the people were going to be there. I knew that they had to take the order, but I figured then they would do business behind the scenes and then we would get together um, at home and then I would get my money together. They would ship them to my house, even mm -hmm. though I met them at the store. And by that point, I would have my money together. So I ordered a gazillion you ordered plaids, so many. prints, polka dots. I went crazy. And then the people said, okay, that'll be, it'll something quick, like maybe 161 maybe 2 I don't remember. It was probably the exact something price. more than $100. It was, yeah. Yeah, it but was, basically, like, we just kind of like looked at each other because basically she was like, "Will that be check, cash, credit? Like, what? Like, what is it gonna be?" And like, we were just like, "Oh my gosh!" And I think you asked her like one more question, and it like required her to go to the back. And when she went to the back, we like ran out of that store. <laughs> like, we were gone. It just like, looked awful because yeah. here we were, the two of us, in this, this this really expensive store. All these people around shopping, bags like they could afford, and we definitely could not and there we were and we just didn't know how to get out of this and I said to, I just looked I said well, let me handle this I said I'm gonna ask her a question to send it to the back I'm like we are going to be taken and it, it was off. like we were on the third level and there was like stairs to get to each level like we <laughs> ran down like six flights of stairs we were like ru like running and just laughing we and running were, like we were crying by the time we got to the park like we so were laughing so hard because so like we just funny. got a kick out of ourselves yeah like, we had no business doing we what we did like <laughs> and we were just literally crying and laughing falling all over each other basically just, Michelle Goose when we were looking at each other we were like Run, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, our friend's back, but you can't see him because he's cursing. But I'll block him anyway. <laughs> the comment won't post because now curse words are being used. 
And you, you don't have any more control over that? No, he, this, it says Alejandro Rodriguez 7. He made another page. Wow. There's nothing I can do. Um, do I struggle with my hair as it gets longer? Do you have to change up your routine? Absolutely. I had to change up my routine applying products. And not so much that I struggle with it, but I have to, it's like, Probably the whole thing. I think in my family we have, I guess what they call, even though it's not the most desirable name, but like the male pattern baldness. So whereas the part gets wider and wider in your head. So I think that's kind of another reason kind of like why I like being natural because it makes my hair fuller. You don't see it as much. If my hair were relaxed, you would be able to see this this distinctive part. So I think as it gets longer, it pulls it down more and it's it's wider here. Whereas mm -hmm. if you guys look back at the other videos when my hair was super short, um, I never had this issue here. But now that it's getting longer, that's why you always see me at the end of every kind of like video, you always see me taking hair and crossing it over to one side and crossing it over to another. So when it dries, it dries kind of covering this distinctive line right here that I don't like because it's um, a balding pattern, I guess, as you get older. Because um, all the women in my family have like this kind of like bald patch there. I hope I'm not going to lose the next one. But You're anyway. Still sickening. Yes, girl. Also. So, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, so that's my issue. So, yes, that's the struggle as my hair gets longer. Mm, it's your hair pulling. smells good. Does it? So. <laughs> so, it's yeah, it's pulling it down, and it's making this part wider, and um, um Kelsey I'm not T, it. I have it in a while. The color, L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Hair Mask, but I still 150% recommend it. I have it in a while, though. No, I haven't. Maybe I have to need to get back to doing that, too. Oh, yeah, we have a slap cap. They don't stay on our head. It does stay on my head. That, that slap that hat, you have thing? way too much. Yeah, no, I didn't like the slap cap. I like okay. the sassy hair cap though. Okay. Your hair you're blowing up, I love it. Alice Keep. You know who that is? No. I know when Al is, but I don't know. I know his last name isn't Keep. I don't know who that is. Xbox. Google? Nope. I need more information. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's think. Um, there's Amanda Rourke. Hi, hi, cousin. Hey. Hey. Y'all don't see Amanda. We just said hi, Miss SCT. You're part of the greeting committee. Did you say hi to Amanda? <laughs> I know, we were talking about my struggles with my hair growing. Let me take my volume down a little bit. I just right? Got, I'm sorry, I apologize, Miss SCT. <laughs> okay, so, um, so Alex likes your t-shirt. She's intrigued by your t-shirt. Oh, thank you. It's, um, Curl District. It's like a, <laughs> a face. There we go. Say, hey, everybody. Sorry, big old lady. Sorry, when we, when we were deep conditioning our hair, we were just talking. We couldn't really see the chat. Yeah, but no, we, we, we apologize to everybody who this we didn't say hi to. This is what happened when y'all are late because when we first came on, we said we're not going to be able to keep up with the questions because we were here strictly to deep condition. And then, of course, we love you so much until we got into conversation. And that's what we're doing. So, um, yeah, we're trying to catch up now with questions. But um, initially, that wasn't the goal. The goal was just to kind of like show you guys yeah. how we deep condition. Thanks for coming, Kelsey T. See you okay. later. Okay, let's see. Lillian Davila left. That was 11.28. Did we miss? Oh, 11 to, oh, three minutes. Oh, we're terrible. We're terrible. We're terrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. What's one product you can't live without? All Sea Moist Three Minute Miracle. That's what you say. Always. And we thought about that today. What did we I did. say that I could not? Um, oh, I said the Crimson Store. Store. I think somebody said you could pick one product, whether it be shampoo, conditioner, style, or whatever, for the rest of your, your life. life. Um, I said it had to be Camille Rose. Yeah. Mattress, I said my Store. Aussie Moist because, like, even though I'd be like, once I rinse it out, I'd be going like productless and my hair would be like a bird's nest. Like I'd be able to detangle it with my Aussie Moist again. So. Yeah, I said I would use that because I could wash my hair. I said, um, Prem Restore, it's like a conditioning co-wash. So I said, so it would also wash condition. And I said that my hair would be so soft. Maybe I could do a no product challenge. I wouldn't even need product. It would be so soft. I haven't put it to the test yet, but um, if I had to, have to choose one product for the rest of my life and use nothing else, that would be my pick. Denisha Bessard, hi I'm guys. keeping up with the chat. Uh, right. No, not really. Oh, oh wow, no, not no. at all. Denisha probably been in the room. Oh, she is. She making her rounds now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Xavier in the house. Oh my gosh, it's like a Friday night up in here. Right? <laughs> you say that. Wait, how am I doing this now? Let's 
to everybody's welcoming Xavier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody's on the greeting committee. The How long does it go on after we click out? Because the other night we were seeing people like, what does it click out? How much time do we have? And yeah, it said, was like 12.30, people were still talking. Someone, we were like, somebody go said it's until 7 a.m. in the morning. Is that true? Really? I don't know. Who knows? I think, didn't this NCT say that it stays till 7 a.m. in the morning? Just clicked off a nail polish review and they were there. It's interesting how different things that people like to watch on YouTube. We always say we love our drama channels. <laughs> and um, so people watch nail polish reviews. That's funny. What else does everybody yeah. watch on YouTube? I used to love that. It's like TV, watching people isn't it? paint nails. I love watching people and, paint nails. And of course, you guys know I love my crime channels. Not like documentaries, but people actually like me just sitting here, oh, minus her, in front of the camera telling a story. So I would tell maybe the um, Lacey Peterson story, the Jean Vinay Ramsey story, just telling you guys stories. But they like to go into the stories of, of the unknown murders or the unknown or people that disappeared. So it's always like the unknown, even though they do tell the, the big ones. But um, so I love listening to um, crime channels. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and what else Xavier do doesn't know. Um, I deep conditioned with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil one, and you did the Sultanicals Afrotastic. Yeah, yeah, we did that in the beginning, so our hair is just kind of baking right now. Yes, well, mine was until I was saying what my struggles were when my hair was growing, yeah. so I took it out of my little ponytail. But um, but, um so you said you like crime channels. Mm -hmm. I like watching like makeup channels. I used to love watching. Um, as I said, like people like do like crazy nails, like the acrylics, and they like do the designs on them. Oh, I love you watch that. Nails? I used to, and I used to love watching oh. people straighten their hair back when my hair wasn't like, cur like I don't know oh, when, I, when, I, when I thought it wasn't like popping and curly. Like I would watch people straighten their hair, and I'd be like, I had a whole list on Amazon of all the chi straighteners I was gonna get. I wanted a chi so bad. Who told me the other day? It could have been Aerie to watch Evil Genius on Netflix. I watched it. I actually remember that. Do you remember that story? It is so tragic. i got to show you that tonight. I remember that story. We're watching story. Anne with an E um, yeah. on Netflix. They're doing, a, they're doing too much with Anne with an E. They have, just have, they have like seven or ten different episodes. Anne with yeah, Green, it's just Anne Anne Green, so Green good. Does not, does not go on with El, by Ellen Montgomery or something. It doesn't go on that long, but they've made a whole TV program I think the that. Well, it's uh, uh, well uh, The Handmaid's Tale was only one book, and they're going on season three. So I think when people can be creative and like go off of a story and still make it good. So I think what they're doing... To Anne with an E and Handmaid's Tale is very good. I was very interested in, in it last night, even though you were like, turn it off, girl. Yeah. You weren't interested. Yeah. No, well, no, I was like tired, but no, I'll, I'll go back to it because I do like Anne with Green Gables. I think they're just like adding on like a lot of extra episodes that just weren't, was not in the book. But anyway, Evil Genius, I remember that story, and we're going to watch it tonight. It, and it was a horrible, tragic um, robbery, a bank robbery in Erie, was it Pennsylvania or something? I don't remember what it was, Erie something. Um, I'm, but not Erie here, but. And where this man, I think he was just like, you know how some people just have a temperament to just be a very gentle and very timid and not really knowing of the world and the ways of the world. And the first they accused him, first they thought he was part of it, but I really don't believe he was. But anyway, I didn't finish it to the end because I fell asleep, but I do remember this story in real life, but I never followed it through for years. But I guess this story, Evil Genius, is the beginning to the middle to the end of the story and where it's at like today, where they strap a bomb around his neck and make him go rob a bank. And he has like very like 20 minutes to do this and he literally is getting handcuffed by the cops when he comes out the bank and they put him down on the street and you hear the bomb ticking and he's just his temperament his nature is such that he's not screaming and yelling so he's just saying please take this off of me please take this off of me and they're not doing that and they're basically all holding him at gunpoint on the ground his hands are behind his back and he's just sitting there like apples crisscross applesauce are you seriously. getting ready to tell us how it ends because yeah. I've never, wait, don't tell us how it ends. Okay. I, I, I'm like in suspense right now. I want to okay. know if he gets blown up or he doesn't. All right. Don't spoil it if okay. you've already seen it. Yeah, okay. I want to see it. genius. You guys watch that. Okay. Funniest topic. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. And yeah, I saw, I think Janelle asked, Handmaid's Tale is only on Hulu probably, but if you Google Handmaid's Tale online, maybe you might be able to find some like scam website or something that might have it. I don't know. Be careful of viruses. But um, you can find anything on the internet. The Handmaid's Tale. But right oh. now, like legitly, it's only on Hulu. It's only on Hulu. Oh. Oh, Plant Based Food, you watched it? It's like insane, right? The Handmaid's Tale? I couldn't. Handle the Handmaid's Tale at all. No, I it know. will have you like shook. I couldn't. Blessed I be the couldn't. fruit. 
I could, I'm like, please just don't stop You're going to say praise be. Yes. And I couldn't, I just couldn't get past the time when the, when one was pregnant and they got mad because she really wasn't pregnant or she was, she was supposed to be carrying the baby and she was supposed to have the emotions. Yeah, they get the, that's like, that's why like the ceremony yeah. and everything, like, mm -hmm. they get the experience. Yeah, like, it's just, that. it's so like twisted and weird. I couldn't get past that. It's so twisted. <laughs> it's too real. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's crazy. For the IG love. Yep. Of course, Xavier. <laughs> I'm fine. And I love the handmade still thing is recommended, but I know it's great. <laughs> I love long or SV, um, SVU. Yeah, totally. I even went and got holes like um extra package so we wouldn't have the commercials, but then I had to cancel that. That went from what seven ninety nine to like eleven ninety nine. Every time I turned around that they were taking that twelve dollars out of my account. I'm like, it's not that serious. That's a nice stick. Others. <laughs> is there hair in it? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here we go. Why aren't they as long? Where's the ice? Because we're melting. <laughs> so, Auntie, I caught your shade at the very end of the Friday Live. She's always shading. <laughs> Bye, Tosh. Good night, everyone. I need to go get Bye, dinner. Tosh. All right. I'm hungry. Guys, we're not going to be out here for four hours like usual. We just came to say hi and bye. What did I say at the last minute? Uh, um, shade. shade. Hi, Carrie Wheeler. There's so many moments I don't remember. Who I'm shading, when I'm shading. And then when, and then the guy that came to the room was um, Obama. You're like, Mom, that's the guy that works at the, at the Big Y up the street. I'm like, hey, I swear. Yeah, Jade, Jade Kid. I'm like, Mom, we know him. And, and you were like, I'm like, I I'm said like, we who do. he was. I'm like, Mom, he works at the Big Y. And I'm like, he does. Like, I did it, but yeah, no, I, I know him now. So. I said his name. I'm like, Mom, we know him. I didn't know um, who he was. You're like, yeah. You're trying to hook him up, calling him the, the future big nose husband. And yeah, he, I see him all the time at the big one. I didn't know that was him. <laughs> and I'm like, J Jada, Jaddy, kid. Mm -hmm. You remember, like, Mom, it's Jada kid. I'm like, okay, so that goes to show right there. I didn't know who it was or how to pronounce the name. I wasn't familiar with the name. Are right, people going to sleep? We can ready to go to sleep too. Okay. Good night. There's movies to watch. Food Jazz are like 45. Good night, Carol Smith. Makeup to take off. Oh, yeah, totally make up take off. All right, so let's see. So, is it Yasha, Loretta? Y'all eat high bites. No, All no. right, guys, we're starting, the good, we're starting the good night roll call. Um, tonight, we're giving out samples of deep conditioners at the door <laughs> in the goodie bags. Oh, my gosh, don't make this a thing. I, we're going to be here all night now. <laughs> you know when they come, we got to give out goodie bags. <laughs> So what are we giving out tonight? Who's handing samples? out the, who's handing out the, the, uh, the samples, the goodie bags, the, the swag bags tonight? Amanda's in charge of picking bowls out. Okay. Amanda Brooks says, all right, well, y'all sleep tight. If you see me on the news, I'm a widow. All right, just make sure that you hold your head up. Don't hide your face. Don't, no don't, don't pull the hood over your head. Walk up with right. your head upright. Upright. Don't embarrass the back curls. Bam. We, um, we're all a reflection of each other. The shirt is from Curl District. Mm -hmm. Curl District. Okay, watch the first episode of Imposters on Netflix. You will be hooked so good. Okay, I have to do that. Tell them Mad Curl sent you. <laughs> Companies right. never know our influence unless people tell them. They don't know. Uh, good night, Mickey Sanders. Domino Effect, good night. Ms. SCT, you're passing out the goodie bags. No, no one has jobs tonight. We're, we're handing them out. It's our job. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. I'm putting a few shame worship and nuke it to the side for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start again, Brooks Aww. Santana. Oh, how long have we been out? We haven't been out that long, right? When? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. How long have we been out? I don't know. I can never tell. I can't tell. Oh, oh, up here, 73 minutes, like a little over an hour. Why is he doing a countdown, it looks like? I don't know, is it going up or is it going down? What is I that? don't know, girl. Why is it going from 12 to 13? Do I look 13? like you too? Okay. Oh, people no, are saying good night. People really in. are saying good night. Okay, okay. Right. cool, cool, cool. Good night, guys. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Oh, look, she's saying deep, 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 deep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's almost as long as we did, but we didn't come out at 8. We literally came out like, what, 10 ish, something. Ma, we have not been out here for four hours. You I, have... I, I said we did not come out at 8. I said we almost have been out here as long as far as. Oh, like, oh, like, oh. Like it's almost going to be midnight. Oh, okay. I'm Are sorry. Are we out of our minds? I'm sorry. I don't, so. I don't know who's in their mind who's not in their right? <laughs> it feels like a Saturday night because um, I'm looking at, uh, excuse me, Friday night. I'm looking at the time. Yeah. We'll still be here on Friday. In class. Yes. We just need the company to deep condition our EST. Hair. 8 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. EST. Well, that's it. I'm just popped in just to be popping in. Yeah, I'm ready to wash my face. Me too. 
and get this some is, food. This is how you get keep good skin because you take off all that hard, harsh makeup from all day long and you've got to clean your face. I don't understand people that just climb over the bed with a full face of makeup. I just don't get that. I just strip it on down every night. Cannot do that. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone leaving? Um, of course not. No, ten people left. Ten people left. Really? People, people going to work tomorrow. People got to get up early in the morning. Right? Okay, guys. Thank you, Miss SAT, for passing out the deep conditioners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even though she pocketed some herself, she said she pocketed some. She did. I heard that's what happened at like BeautyCon or something. People that were handing really? out the swag bags, were like taking stuff out the bags and, wow. and keeping it for themselves and just drama. Wow. I need a wake up call. <laughs> All right, guys. It was fun popping oh, in. I can't believe that when we pop up, like the crew yes. shows up, like everybody like comes. The regulars, as when I we call go them. live, y'all mm -hmm. come through. Y'all show up. Y'all show up. Yes. That's crazy. Awesome time. Yeah. So, so it's like you always have company, even when you don't think you're gonna have company. Right. Always have company. We had like 140 people worth of company at one point. We did. Yeah, people were just okay, like. Okay, I had hey. it turned differently. I didn't have it um, horizontally. I had it. <laughs> vertically so I didn't see that that they cut off that type of information <laughs> okay everybody have a good week miss SCT beagle lady wants a manupa sample <laughs> you know miss SCT doesn't take requests How they gonna do that? we don't have to bed tonight people are out because yes, they don't they alarms going off Taylor, tomorrow you are there for us no request. She's starting. No request. <laughs> we have to tell her, like, you tell me. We have to put her in her cage. Put her, put her in her cage. Okay. Put her back in her cage. Put her back in her cage. She's been out way too long. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I said to my mom, I'm like, all right, time to put you back in your cage. You've been out too long. I know. Like, you tell me that. I'm like, not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. You guys are awesome. We love you so much. And we will Bye. see you guys on Friday and throughout the week with our regular video posts. Vicki Sanders is going to be doing some testing. She said, we have to pray for her. It's going to be that serious, I guess. She's got cocktail, the TGIN, deep conditioner, and then shea moisture manuka. We've all been warned. <laughs> Domino effects. I wish I didn't miss it, but always working. Shmoney. Right? Get the shmoney. <laughs> was I saying the other day? Green paper, lettuce. Um, <laughs> you call it everything but money. Lettuce, trees. Yes. Euro. Good night, Lisa Powell. Yes, we'll be here on Friday. Oh, look at all the bags, Brooks and all the goodie bags. The goodie bags. <laughs> the swag bags. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay, anything else? Cute. All right. Hello. Look at the, oh, we can't pronounce that. It's but they the, said um, hello. Asian lettering, but hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Now I'll give you one of mine. Uh, you think? <laughs> Sharing is caring back. Okay. okay. Talk to y'all on Friday. Okay. Yeah. People gotta go to bed. People gotta go to work. Okay. You know, we we just keep going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. We're thinking it all for y'all. We're gonna press the button for y'all for y'all to go to bed. Yes. Okay. For you guys. For you guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's one of our. Uh, it was a beauty channel. No, she was a beauty night. channel. She was like, I was trying to do this for you guys. Yeah. Like she held out you guys for like ten minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah, she was like bugging like, for her because she didn't give out Morphe brushes, brushes, or she did. Or... She did a giveaway, but then like she went. I think she shopped at Morphe and she didn't pay for it. And yeah. she said she was buying, getting all the stuff for free to like. Um... Yeah, then she acted like she was buying it, and then then the re the real receipts came out literally, and then the whole receipt that everything was zero, zero, zero. You know how people just zoom in on everything, and so they really want to get to the bottom of this. You really buy this stuff, so they zoomed in on the receipt, and you saw that Morphe did zero, zero, zero. Yeah, and zero, she said zero. that she did all that so she could use it for giveaways. She's yeah. like, I did it for you guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like she got them so straight. <laughs> okay, alright. Guys, be heart you. See you Friday night. 8 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now he's apologizing. Okay, well, anyway, okay, well on, on that note, mm -hmm. good night, guys. Repentance is good. Repentance <laughs> is good for the soul. Good thing. Okay, okay. alright. All right. Love you guys. Peace. See you Friday. Bye. <laughs>